This is a special podcast presentation from 700WLW.com. This is Casey Boland On Demand. It's Casey Boland time. Casey's with Hanghole Capital Management. We were talking uh, yesterday, Casey, about uh, delaying and how far behind it can set you if you don't start saving for retirement early. And uh, today you have a few stats you'd like to prove that point with. Yeah, I mean, we see in the statistics half of workers age 55 and older, they have less than $70,000 in savings. Some have traditional defined benefit pensions, so they're going to be in better shape than than it seems because they'll have a pension stream coming in, but most people don't. So with modest savings, you know, what should you do? The other day we talked about how delaying can hurt you if you wait to start delaying and saving for retirement, but if you delay and you delay when you actually retire, This is an instance where delaying can actually help you financially. Well, I bet it can. I I know I've read that it can with regard to when you start taking Social Security. Lay out those numbers. Yeah, I mean, with Social Security, let's say you wait five years and taking your benefits, that's going to increase your monthly benefit in retirement by more than 35%. I mean, a lot of people don't know that from full retirement age, until age 70, if you delay and start ta- don't take those Social Security benefits, you get what's called delayed credits, and those delayed credits result in 8% per year and an increase in your Social Security benefit. Boy, 8%, that's hard to come by. Well, you know, I don't think I get to collect until I'm 67, so I'd only be putting it off three years. Do I get the same benefit? No. So you're going to get three years at 8%, but, you know, if you, let's say, delayed another two years, so a a year of five years total from 65 to 70, yeah, I mean, it's going to be somewhere between 30 and 35% overall as far as an actual benefit, probably closer to 30 for them. For others, maybe their retirement is at 66 for full retirement age. It's going to be closer to 35% in overall increased benefits by delaying five years. But the other part for your portfolio, if your portfolio grew by, let's say, 7%, with compounding, your nest egg will have increased by more than 40%, and now you've got five more years of savings as well. When you add it up between delaying taking your nest egg, delaying having additional savings, delaying the Social Security, that waiting five years could potentially buy you 10 more years in retirement. 